what is your everybody uh what you guys are looking at here right now is um three versions of um an api <laughs> um well not an api but um three instances of a engine that's currently rendering a quad now these two here are rendering the same quad and they both being animated right and then this one is rendering the same quad but it's just textured and it's not moving around right so in this video i'm going to be sharing something that i've been trying to accomplish for a very long time actually um and i believe i'm finally getting it right and that is basically building my very own c implementation or c api for using the apple metal graphics api now if you know anything or two about metal is that um, you have to use it use it using objective c or swift right and the other way to do this about is basically to use metal cpp which is the c plus plus um api um for metal right but there has never really been a true c api <laughs> version of this um i've searched the internet and i found a couple of ones that kind of failed or never got maintained or never basically um, managed to basically solve most of the issues um so i decided you know what let me just try and do my very own implementation and if you guys have been watching my channel have been tuning into my channel you'll know from that in the past i had about a video that i posted saying that i'm having like issues with this implementation of memory leaks um auto release pools not working this and that um well that's because the implementation and the way that i was doing things before was kind of not incorrect but it was sort of like inefficient and it was also prone to bugs and issues and errors because i was basically literally just creating bindings and converting data um around and stuff like that right <clears throat> until i looked at the cpp implementation and i realized something that it's not really that complicated because i was trying to complicate it at first um but i realized that it's actually quite simple um let me just clear my throat real quick i'm sorry <clears throat> okay so here's the code um and you can see this is the c implementation um um of metal right you can see that we're using c c um pure c and we're basically creating all these different stuff that are required to essentially basically render something onto the screen now this was impossible at first because you had to use something like objective c or swift or metal cpp right and you know if you're going to use metal cpp you're going to have that um metal uh, let me just do this and um, tool then you're gonna have this then you're gonna have device and then you're gonna have like a lot of um these things going on right these colons type of stuff going on and i don't hate that you know i hate working like that in, in c++ uh, because it's quite a lot and sometimes it can get really really confusing really really quick um so i decided you know what <laughs> i'm not going to go into c++ route i'm just going to stick with c because c is fairly simple to use and it's really simple to understand yes the namings can be a little bit long but i mean it's c right <laughs> it is c so it's it's nothing new here so but yeah it just allows me to basically just have proper names and uh proper functionality and just uh, a good looking code base essentially at the end of the day so yeah so let me go back and talk about these guys now i'm gonna pull up my activity monitor here and uh for for reference we have three um, instances running here right the metal reference here is basically this window here this window is actually a pure objective c implementation of the same code base which you are seeing on your left side so if i open up that project in xcode uh, metal ref you'll notice that it's purely objective c now if i just come here you'll see that this is an objective c file um but it's mixed with C++, a bit of C++, but nonetheless, it's still Objective-C. Um, the reason why it's mixed with C++ is so that I can just create a basic window that's really quick, quick well, a, a basic window that's fairly easy to basically pull up and uh, work with here, um, as opposed to the other implementation that I made um, for the C version. So this is Objective-C, right? Majority of it is literal 
pure objective c and you can see that right and um what i really want to show you guys here is that there isn't really much difference between the two in terms of memory usage if you look here right the objective c1 is using a little bit more um but the reason why it's using a little bit more is first of all we basically rendering a texture here as you can see it's just added a few megabytes to that count over there and if i were to pull up this in full screen mode you'll notice that it's going to jump to 156 megabytes right and if i go to this window uh let's go to this one down here and i believe that one down there is the um visual studio implementation and um you'll see it over here it's at 105 megabytes in full screen mode and again the comparison in terms of megabytes is fairly because this one is textured and um, this one it's not but i don't think it should basically give it that much extra megabytes so maybe something is going on there that i'm not aware of um but nonetheless the uh, the visual studio implementation is at 107 megabytes in full screen mode and then the vs code x code <laughs> the x code implementation uh, if i put that in in full screen mode you'll see that it will be closer to the vs code implementation and that will be at about 115 which is greater than the vs code implementation and now the reason why this one is higher than this one is because the vs xcode implementation basically has to it's basically hooked up to xcode <laughs> right and xcode is essentially doing a bunch of things to basically monitor it so it's being monitored by xcode so therefore there's a lot going on and obviously that can basically affect the memory usage as well so yeah if it wasn't because of xcode i believe it would be the same memory as this one and actually just dipped down to 92 um so yeah but anyway um looking at these memory um usage here you'll notice that the c implementation isn't all that bad right and in fact it's actually doing quite better than the objective c version for whatever reason i guess um, because these two are non-textured and they're moving and everything is going on there here's just static and it's just a texture on a quad um, but again it's still using quite a bit of memory over there um, so yeah and in, in terms of performance that's not what I'm measuring here at all um, but if we look at the CPU usage here as well um, the metal CP is basically using about 13% well the numbers are fairly close to each other right this one is using less well no well yeah they just fluctuate and they just pretty much almost the same they just go up and down up and down up and down so yeah it's not really that much of a difference and it just went down to three percent so you can see see these numbers are just moving up and down randomly so there isn't really much huge difference in terms of cpu usage at this point because there's really much going on here anyway um in terms of energy well you can't really <laughs> do anything with energy at this point <laughs> but um yeah yeah so the test at this point is too early to really do heavy testing um but yeah yeah so yeah i don't know what to say <laughs> but i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say but anyway this video wasn't scripted so if you guys want to mess around with this implementation i do have it available on um github you guys can just check it out on my github um it's at metal c api or alternatively you can read my article on um, this implementation that i wrote it's very short it's really not that long um, and then from my article itself on my website lutherkoda.com you can just navigate to my github um, for this metal api by just clicking on this github on the right on the right and then that should just take it to my github page for the metal c api um, and you can see i basically posted this up two hours ago from the time of this recording and uh, it's fairly new and uh, you guys can just go through it and uh, read this disclaimer please um, it's not production ready i'm still early in development and therefore please use it at your own risk however i would ask for you guys to help me uh, with this api um, especially if you know someone who knows how to basically pull this off and and how to do it properly 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 um definitely show them this video if they're interested in helping me um basically build out this metal c api um so yeah 
yeah so this is it for this video just wanted to share this um and for those game developers out there who want to make games in metal c in in metal and c uh, well this is how you can do it now and it's possible and we do have a working uh, c implementation that will definitely be maintained um until it's completed and then until we have all the implementations implemented um for you guys to actually build actual games with this so yeah this is it for this video um thank you guys for watching and um i'll see you guys in the next video cheers